All right, um, thank you so much for um, watching this video. Today I'm going to teach you how to do some bulk editing in Camera Raw, which is the box that opens up when you open up a raw image in Photoshop. Um, and then I'm also going to teach you how to add the animal face to your person. Um, I'm making this separate video um, instead of the other video with the snake because um, you're having 12 different images that you have to edit versus just the one that I did in the previous video. So I wanted to show you a quick way to do that. So you're going to pull, I would try to do all 12 and let's see if it if Photoshop crashes or not, but I'm just going to show you four. But you're going to name all of the 12 photos that you took in the, the studio setup and you're going to name them um, like I did Gren underscore one, two, three, four. Put them on the desktop, grab them all. I don't want this fox in the grab. Grab them all and then you're going to drag them all to Photoshop. Now these have to be camera raw photos or they're not going to open up in camera raw which is up here. Now quick explanation of um, what camera raw is. It is how to edit your the raw image of your photo. Um, so when you edit in Photoshop with layers you're not editing the raw image the original image, but in Camera Raw you are, so you're permanently altering the pixels in these images. Um, but the neat thing about it is that we can bulk edit in here, so that means you can change all four of these photos and have them do the exact same thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Now I've already done this once, so I have to go through and reset my defaults so they go back to my originals. I need to do that for all of them. So you won't have to do this step, but I have to do it. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab all four. So you might notice that they're all gray. So to do that, I um, highlight the first one, and then I hold the shift key down, and I highlight the last one. So they're all highlighted. So every change that I make over here happens to all four photos. Now you can go over and make sure you're in the basic here, which is this little aperture symbol. And I just want you to do some basic editing. I'm not looking for anything fancy. Um, most of the time when you first shoot in the studio, um, you have a tendency to make things too dark. So I have a feeling a lot of you are going to have to lighten up your image. I'm looking for correct exposure on the face. Um, texture is you can make it really blurry or you can sharpen it up. That's the same thing for clarity. Um, and then Vibrance is just a little brighter and so is saturation. You can also go in here and play with your colors if you want to. You can play with the balance uh, hue saturation. Um, you can also go in and maybe do some vignetting. Just mess around with some of these settings just for fun. Go back to basic. Once you have everything the way you like it, notice that it changed all four photos. You're going to leave those highlighted and you're going to hit open images. Now all four of these images are going to open up into Photoshop. And if you're doing trying to do 12, it's going to, you know, it's going to take a minute. But you're going to see them all pop up. And they're going to be up here labeled 1 2 3 4 through 12. Okay, and then you're going to go through each one and you're going to make a duplicate layer. So control click duplicate layer so we're not editing our original. I'm going to do that to each one. Three. Okay. And four. Now I would watch this video first and then watch the other one again because the other one shows you more in depth how to do the editing with the animal and also what size to save things to. But for now, I wanted to show you how to manipulate that animal face. Um, with different poses because the other video just shows you one pose. All right, so I've got my four. Now I'm going to take my fox here. I'm going to turn her into a red fox and I'm going to dump that in Photoshop. It's going to open up in its own picture. I can make a duplicate copy if I want. It's no big deal. I found it off the internet. Remember, it's a large image. I'm going to go to my selection tool, make sure I'm on the plus, and I'm going to grab his face my winter fox here um, and then I'm going to do command C which is going to copy it and go back to image one command V which is pasting it I go over to my layer here and I want to see her face underneath so I can put it in the right spot 
So I turn the opacity down. I go back here and I hit Command T, which stands for transform. That way I can move him around, I can make him bigger, I can torque him a bit, and I want to put the eye on her eye here. Now this is a new step I haven't shown you. This is called puppet warp. So up here, you see this little arrow with this symbol? Click that, and now all of a sudden you have a little bit more control over where you place things and how you stretch your fox. And this is going to come in handy later when the face is changes and moves. So I kind of get it where I want it, and then I hit return, and it commits that layer. Now I can go back and turn the opacity up so I can really see the colors of the fox. And then that's at that point, this is where the other video comes in handy. You can make a mask layer and start fading it in and out, which is what you're want, gonna wanna do as your um, images progress one through 12, you're gonna want the face to fade in and out, okay? So mask layer is down here. I go to my paintbrush and then I am gonna paint out, right? So remember black conceals and white reveals. So we wanna conceal and I'm probably gonna turn my opacity down so that I'm not getting really sharp lines here and I can go in and do some fun sort of fade and make this is where I get to make decisions like do I want the ears in there I kind of don't kind of want her hair in there instead or maybe I can kind of create an ear popping through her hair later if I want to I'm gonna just go through here and then I might even turn it down a little bit more and capture some of her other features like her mouth and I can even go back to the puppet warp if I want to if I feel like I need to go back to command T and then click puppet warp and kind of move her eye around hit return and then go back to my painting and I if I wanted to get a little bit of her eye in there and maybe her nose I could do that Looks like I didn't grab the nose when I grabbed his face. Okay, so another reason I wanted to make this extra video is that the next photo is a little bit similar, but now we've got some serious turns on her face, right? So how do I get what I just did to fade into another image that's different? Well, quick and easy. Grab that layer just by clicking on it. Command C copies that whole layer, even the mask, Go to your new image, Command V, and it pastes exactly what you did, so you can continue to alter it. But to move it around, of course, we have to, we can either click on these arrows and move it, and then we go to Command T, which is Transform, and the Puppet Warp, and then I can warp it even more. I can make his face turn with her face. To tweak it a little bit. And then of course I would hit return, and then I would spend some time fading it in or out, depending on what I'm going for here. And I'm really trying to make it look like, oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Did you notice that? It's turning black. You have to be on the mask layer in order to paint it in and out. Otherwise, you're basically just painting black. So maybe I get rid of this edge here. You know, just subtle changes. So when you play your GIF, it's not going to be too drastic. Now if I decide I want to paint something back in, I switch back to the white and I paint that back in. Okay? So then I take this layer, Command C, copy, and I go to my new face, Command V. Now this face is very different. She's more frontal. Right, so we're gonna have to really puppet warp it. So Command T to transform, go up to puppet warp. And now we're really, I'm gonna put that right on her eye. And then I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna stretch the face out. And this is where I have to tweak it a bit. I have to kind of stretch it this way and stretch it back, back and forth until I kind of get it exactly where I want it. You know, you don't wanna warp it so much that it's, like it looks, like it's a Gumby Fox, you know. You want it to look somewhat realistic. You kind of get that where you want it. Hit return to commit. 
and then go back in with your paintbrush. Make sure you're on the mask layer and it switched to white, go back to black. And then if I'm frustrated with the opacity, I can always turn it up. Like if I really want to erase a little faster, I can go back to that. Now remember, you're just erasing the fox part because you're on the fox layer. You can go in and erase her face too. You just have to be on her layer. But I, I don't recommend doing that. I just re recommend erasing the animal, okay? So I like it, Command C, Image 4. Now this one, totally opposite profile. So Command V, but this is what we do. We hit Command T to transform. Actually, let's go up here and I'll show you where transform is that's not a shortcut. Go up to Edit and Transform, and then we can flip it horizontal. So now the fox is going the other direction grab my move tool and I put it where I want it and then I can command T it and puppet warp to get it where I want and then maybe at this stage maybe her nose move down here you know you want the changes to be gradual hit return to commit and then I can go up and you know, at this point, maybe it's fully fox. You know, maybe she's all, whoops, there I am again. I gotta make sure I'm on the mask layer. Maybe I want just everything to be really solidly painted in there. Give her fur on her face. And then, but maybe I want the eye. I'm going to make that tinier and I could zoom in if you hit command plus you could really go in there and like super detail it up like really get her eye nice and sharp eyelashes and everything and then you could go in and you know get the eyebrow in there and soften these edges like just Give it some nice detail. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to go into how to save them and how to resize them and everything um, at the moment because that's in the other video. So I recommend you watch this video first and then the other video next and you should have the full uh, perspective on how to finish this project. After you get all of your 12 images edited, then you're going to resize them and then watch or read through the GIF um, instructions, and that will teach you how to make this into a GIF or a GIF. Okay, thank you so much. And let me know if you have any questions.